Hey everyone, so uh, Nintendo is releasing a free update on 11.16 for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And for many people, this is an update that shouldn't need to exist. It should have been in the base game. But I'm also kind of surprised that Nintendo's releasing this update because when you think about Super Mario 3D All-Stars and how it came together and the emulation and six months of development and just kind of almost rushing it to market, I feel like... There was such minimal effort put into bringing these games to Switch that we should have never expected an update, even if this update feels like something that should have been there in the first place. But a lot of people are going to be happy this happened. Uh, to be honest, there's other things I wish they would do in addition to this. Uh, I'm not talking about changing up the visuals or all that. Uh, but you know what? Before I can even get into it, we need to actually talk about what has changed. So... Let's take a look. So as you see here, uh, we are on Nintendo of America's uh, Twitter. And uh, as this is a free software update that's coming to Super Mario 3D All-Stars on 11.16 that adds a new inverted camera control setting for all three games. I will open the screenshots here and you'll see uh, in Mario 64, horizontal camera to invert it, horizontal Mario cam, vertical Mario cam, you can change all of those. Uh, you'll see now in Mario Sunshine, there's a little bit extra controls just because of Flood being involved. Uh, and then Super Mario Galaxy as well, uh, you'll see similar things. So yeah, comes on 11.16. Now this is a great update to add although it feels like it should have been part of the original game and i think that's uh I, they really didn't spend a lot of time making these games and there's other updates i'd like to see but let's just go through some of the responses here you know cheese master i like highlighting him because he's an actual industry analyst that i follow it says that's good maybe at gamecube controller support again gamecube controller support was added to the switch uh thanks to super smash bros ultimate and the smash dongle so i, I don't understand why uh, GameCube controller support for a GameCube game doesn't exist. Uh, and then obviously eliminate the sale expiration date when you're fixing things, which who likes that this thing expires on March 31st? Maybe scalpers, but even then there's going to be so many millions of physical copies out there that it's not going to be worth that much. Uh, you see hot coffee here saying it should have been in the base game. I regret spending $60. Uh, scroll on. That's cool. How about updating Smash? Like, that's just not even a relevant comment. Uh, bad game. You know, this guy I'm talking about Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, I guess I'm weird because I adjusted the camera fairly quickly. Thank goodness. Why in the world would Nintendo give us a free update for a game you had to pay to get? Um, that would definitely make Sunshine easier for me, but I already beat it. Wish it came out at launch. Uh, why is it coming on November 16th? That's so weird for a relatively simple change. And it is. Let's be honest. It, it's really strange that this is coming out on the 16th. It, it, this would have been such a simple thing. Like We have seen modders put this in emulators of this game on uh, PC literally the first day it was available to be emulated. So it's just it's baffling that we live in this world where this is the update that we're supposed to get excited about. I want to be clear here. I'm glad Nintendo is adding this because it wasn't there. But there's so many other things that need to be done. Uh, forget just removing you know, the, the, the limited release of it. What about adding, I don't know, a free roam camera in Mario 64? Hello, modders did that on PC emulation many years ago, decade plus ago. We've, been, we've had a uh, free roam camera that makes it much more enjoyable in Mario 64. And I understand, there are going to be people that prefer Mario 64 the way it was back in the day with the wonky camera. That's fine. Why can't there be a camera option for free roam versus original and then give the option to the users? I would enjoy Mario 64 a hell of a lot more today in 2020 if I had a free roam camera. That's way more important to me than inverted cameras. And the fact that we have basically a free roam camera in Sunshine and also Galaxy is kind of like, hey, this is stupid. Why don't we have this as a feature in, uh, in, in Mario 64? It just makes it a better experience. I can't even play Mario 64 anymore. I don't enjoy it like I did as a kid because I've played too many modern, uh, you know, 3D platformers over the years that have these free roam cameras that it's just, it's too infuriating to me. I don't enjoy it. Uh, and it sucks because it's not ruining my childhood because this was the way it was when I was a kid. It's just not good for 2020 standards in my opinion it, it, 
there's just a lot of little things. Uh, they left in a lot of the original bugs because, again, uh, they didn't really do anything to these games. Uh, they up them. Congratulations. Uh, there's additional bugs that come from emulation in, you know, in Super Mario Sunshine that aren't getting patched out, like the, the, the debug boxes and the bonus levels. Like That's an emulation-only thing. You figured Nintendo could fix that, but they didn't. These games... For as awesome as they are, and by the way, it is one of the best collection of Mario games of all time. We're talking about three of the greatest platforming, 3D platforming games of all time in one package for 60 bucks, which is great. I'm There's a reason this is selling really, really well, but there's also a reason that I'm not really playing it. And it's because they didn't do anything. I'm just playing games I've already played. They're, they're not giving me a reason to really re-experience it. I guess the only reason, the really twofold reasons, is that Sunshine is finally in 16 by 9 so that's nice, I suppose. And then, obviously, Galaxy is in HD, which is, you know, it looks good in HD. So does Sunshine. It looks good in HD. But the gameplay is exactly the same. None of the bugs are fixed. There's no real gameplay improvements now besides an inverted camera. So, I... It's just, it's not enough to, like, want to make me replay these games. If they offered a free roam camera in Mario 64, I would have already beaten Mario 64 in 3D All-Stars. Instead, I did one little stream where I played Mario 64 for, like, 15 to 20 minutes, and that's it. Haven't booted it up since. Yeah, I played a little bit more of Sunshine and Galaxy, but still, outside of recording footage of the game for videos, I just don't play it. Because, honestly, it felt better to me when I was a kid. Galaxy felt better to me when I, well, back, well, I wasn't really a kid at the time, but back in, uh, you know, when it released, I think, what, 2007, Mario Galaxy felt better to me. Mario Sunshine felt better to me as a kid. Mario 64 felt better to me as a kid because I didn't know better. I didn't have the wide breadth of decades of more experience with a wide variety of platforming games to get to this point where I'm not going to say the games are bad. I'm not going to say they didn't age well, especially Galaxy, but it's just... It felt better at the time because there's things they could do to it now to modernize these games that would make them just infinitely better and would make me want to replay them just because it's a better experience today. But it's not. It felt better back in the day before I had all this additional experience with honestly better designed and better controlling platformers including from the indie space it is time for nintendo to get with the times and not be so lazy with these games i'm glad we're getting the free update i'm not trying to look a gift horse in the mouth like thank you nintendo for giving us a free update for inverted controls or inverted i shouldn't say inverted controls inverted camera controls uh that's that's a welcome change for many people that prefer inverted camera controls it's not something i really care about i usually don't invert my camera so it uh, forgive me for not being excited about this update I'm more frustrated by Nintendo not doing more. And I know I defended this game before it came out. And I, I'd still defend it to a certain degree. Because honestly, if it's worth it to you, spend 60 bucks. Just do it. Because they're three of the greatest Mario games ever played. And if you've never played them, it's worth experiencing them at least once. So have fun with it. It's the best the games have ever been in terms of just from a visual perspective, uh, and I guess now from a control perspective, thanks to this, but honestly, I just, I feel a little bit slighted in the aftermath of it all. I know, I, I don't want to sit here and, and, and whine and, and act entitled about it, because psh, it's Mario, after all we're debating about here. I just, I don't know. I guess in 2020, I want more. It is what it is. Three of the greatest Mario games ever ever made, and now I own a copy. I gave away a bunch of copies. A bunch of you guys own copies and are glad and having a lot of fun. I'm not here to ruin your fun. I'm just here to say I kind of wish they did more. Anyways, I am Nintendo Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.